So welcome back. So let, let's have a look at the editor now. The editor for is right here. And um, first of all, let's have a look at what it actually can do now. The editor, just like uh, any text box you have in HTML, you have different types that you can pick from. And right now our type is pure text because it's just a name. Uh, but again, you can you can decide on what it is and it decides looking at these values right here. If it's an int, if it's a um, boolean, a string, a date time, then it'll decide what type it should probably put in there, right? So that's what the text box can do for you. And let's just have a look at some different text boxes here because their example is a more, lot more extensive than, than mine right now. We'll try and scaffold some more complex solutions later. But have a look here. He makes an editor for each of his properties right now. One for student ID, student name, yada, yada, yada. And notice that each of them have different type of text editor, depending on what it is. And right now the student ID is an int value. So the student ID will be a number picker right here. The student name, that's just a string, so that'll just be a basic text box, another number, and then the password one, that should actually be a type of password, um, but you can't see that right now, it's just a string, but then we can later on tell it that it's going to be an actual password. We can do that in other ways, but that's the password one. We have the Boolean value, that'll just be a checkbox. The gender is boy right now, that's just going to... Um, to be a string or how did he actually do that it's not even here so good job there good job explaining that uh, we'll get back to that and then we have the date which is going to be a date picker so it automatically using these guys can figure out what type the text box should be and this is how simple it is to actually make an editor uh, but there's also one called editor 4 like just that we talked about with the label you have the label and the label 4 here's the editor 4 where you go in and say I actually want to use lambda expression to do the same thing. They look almost the same. Let's look at our solution and let's look at what we actually do. Well, we have the editor 4 here, but there's a bit more information than what they showed us. And why is that the case? Let me try and explain that. Just giving some space here. Let me just add another line here so we can see everything. There we go. We have our editor 4 right here. And we start out by saying what model property do you want to bind to, right? So in this case, it's the model of name that we want to end up with. And that's just, this just means that we're going to get an attribute. Let's have a look at our actual form just to explain where the difference area are. We go in here, we have the, in here we have the form and here we have the input field. And let me try and zoom in that code right there. So the first thing it does is it says, whatever property you're using, I'm going to use that as the name property or name attribute inside my input tag, okay? So that's why it says name here and here in ID and name. That's actually coming from the part we have right here where we say the model should be model name, okay? Great, what else do we have? Well, we add some kind of HTML attribute to the editor called form control. So let's try and go back to the code. There's something here, the class right here says form control and text box single. All of this is added because it's a text uh, editor, so it's not an it's an editor for it's not a. Let me see. There's another one here called text box. Just to show you the difference, HTML dot um, text box. There, if we if we pick this one, sorry, text area. If we pick this one instead, it won't be a single line. It'll be a multi line. Actually, you can pick. So that's why the editor 4 goes in specifically and tells you, well, since it's an editor, you only need to be a text box and a single line. That's the classes you want to build in there. And then the last one, the type of text, well, that's something it generates like I just showed you. When you decide to pick an editor of the type string, automatically it'll end up giving you a text editor. So it'll put in the type of text that we have up here with the different types. So that's kind of what the editor can do for you, and that's all you have to do actually uh, to set up an editor or a text box inside your uh, MVC application, inside your form. See you in the next lesson where we'll just keep looking at more helpers.